when I'm looking for the trees in the woods. There's a lot of things you look for. You're looking for a big maple tree, at least three foot in diameter, really. And you pilt back and you look at the skin, and you look for the ripples, which is a figuring, which is a bounded up twisting in the wood. The maple brings out your brights and your mid-tones. After I've found the perfect piece of wood, the real work begins back at the shop. I work out of a couple different places, just depending on what needs to be done to the guitar. My vision of a crunk guitar started in 2005 when I was working on my first guitar. One of my dad's friends came into the shop when I was sanding it and looked at me and said, What do you want to be, the next Fender or something? I said, Yes. The average guitar takes about 30 hours. A lot of times we spend a lot more time on it than this, and it just depends on how custom we want to make it for the person, that unique feel and touch. How I got into making guitars was really for my passion for music. I started playing guitar at about age 5 and took lessons. Me and my dad were making custom kitchen cabinets at the time, and he kept on showing me all the things that we'd do and how we'd make them and everything and at that point I'd seen all the cool stuff we were making I knew anything was possible so there I set out for a goal to make a guitar one day as a senior I built my first guitar I've made up to 42 guitars now since I started making my first one in 2005. My first one was a bass guitar, because that's where I played. And then I moved into electric guitars, which followed into acoustic electric guitars. Now the main guitar that I make is an electric six-string guitar. I strive for perfection in all the work that I do, but the most precise thing that I have to deal with is the neck. Because that's the most important thing when you're playing guitar, is how easy it is to play. The other thing is the body and having it as soft as your skin by hand rubbing the oil in the finish. I usually put six coats of tongue oil finish on my guitar. That's how you get your smooth skin feel towards the end is just by hand rubbing it and keep polishing it into the grain. Then once the neck and the body is finished, you start putting in the electronics. I string up the guitar, tune it. And I hear it singing for the first time, and I love it. 